Well, now to the coronavirus in Maryland. We now have more than 110,000 cases in our state. The positivity rate across Maryland remains low, below 3.5%. In the last 30 minutes, we've just learned Anne Arundel County will remain in stage two of its reopening. With the Labor Day weekend ahead and health experts worrying about people letting their guard down, they fear we could see a spike in cases in the coming weeks. WJZ is live tonight. Ava Joy Burnett with more on the concerns. Ava Joy. Hi, Nicole. Well, health officials are not the only ones who are a little bit concerned about this. Uh, elected officials are worried as well in Ocean City. Their mayor is asking people, if you're coming down to the beachfront resort town, make sure that you're taking the proper precautions, wearing your mask, social distancing. All of this is happening as Maryland gets ready to move into phase three. But Baltimore City and Anne Arundel County, they will remain in phase two. We're probably going to have a lot of people that come to Ocean City, which is a good thing. If you'll be enjoying some fun in the sun in Ocean City this holiday weekend, the Beach Town's mayor is kindly asking you to follow the rules once you get there. Well, and we just ask that uh, they continue to follow our restrictions. We have a requirement to wear a mask on the boardwalk between 8 a.m. and 2 p.m., 2 a.m., and uh, we hope that people will, will assist us and, and cooperate doing that. From the federal government to the local level, health officials don't want to see a repeat of scenes like this. Remember the Memorial Day weekend? There was a massive pool party in the Lake of the Ozarks and even in Ocean City where the boardwalk was packed. They're worried crowds like this could trigger a spike in COVID-19. Creating crowds in your backyard over Labor Day really needs to be avoided. Um, try to limit your barbecues to your immediate family. And remember, you could unnecessarily and unintentionally spread the virus to others. Tomorrow, Maryland will move into phase three of the reopening process. Movie theaters and live entertainment can resume with some limitations. Retailers and houses of worship can increase the number of people allowed inside. Baltimore City and Anne Arundel County will delay moving into the new phase. I'm excited. I think that a lot of people, I mean, taking the necessary safety precautions, yeah. are, are ready for things to get back to normal. Some people who spoke of WJZ welcome phase three. Others think the governor was moving too slow. It's not making any difference as far as the contagion is concerned. All they're doing is ruining businesses. Some people who spoke with WJZ welcome phase three. Others think the governor is moving too slow. Coming up in WJZ at 5, we're going to speak with Baltimore County's health officer, and he has a really unique perspective. Not only is he a medical professional, but he also survived COVID-19. Live at 4, Average Way Burnett for WJZ. Well, if you are flying this Labor Day, the TSA wants to make sure that you know it's taken aggressive steps to make sure that everything is clean and safe. The agency says all officers are wearing face masks or face shields, gloves, and they are keeping their social distance and they are set up throughout security checkpoints. TSA officers are also making sure that checkpoint surfaces and equipment are cleaned regularly. As Maryland prepares to reopen all businesses tomorrow at 5 p.m., the number of first-time unemployment <coughs> claims fell once again last week. Just over 11,000 people filed last week. Since early March, more than 1.3 million people here in Maryland have filed for benefits.